Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. This week's tutorial is a really cool code snippet for the Blurb module. Now, if you're like me, you really like using the Blurb module for all kinds of things. There's one situation when you have the image on the left and your text, your title, and your body on, on the right. A lot of times I need them to be lined up vertically. Let me show you what I mean. So right here, I actually have the comparison set up. You can see that these blurbs here on the left, you know, before, I have before and after in the title, um, this has a short text and the image, you know, you can see the way I've set up the image size is quite a bit longer than the text. And in this one, it's quite a bit shorter than the text. Now over here on the right, you can see that this text is vertically aligned, whether it's short or long compared to the image or the icon. Um, and so this is what we're achieving here on the right. So this is before um, and this is after. So I, this is this is something I use so much. In fact, over on our documentation, you can see I'm using it here. We have the blurb image and then the text. Um, over on my other product, WP Inbox, um, if you look at the integrations, you can't notice it maybe quite as much, but if you look close, you can see that this image is just a little taller, you know, in each one. Um, I think I have it on the pricing page. So yeah, so even here, even something as simple as, in this case, I don't have the body text, I just have the title. But you can see how perfectly centered it is, rather than have that, normally that, that title would be, you know, right at the top of the image. And I just don't think that looks good. So this is a tutorial that I use all the time personally, and it's like, why haven't I shared this yet? I'm not sure why I haven't. Um, here's the blog post, it's linked in the video description. So just go into your your blurb module, and the main thing, the main thing is setting the, the placement to the left. I have um, changing the image icon width also. Um, you, you don't have to do that. Like, it, it might depend on your setup, but typically you would probably need to, in this kind of setup where, you know, we have an, a bigger image than just a tiny little image, which is by default. Um, next is adding the CSS class. Now this class is simply added to the blurb module where we are working. So you can copy that, PA vertical align blurb. You can see where we're putting it, the advanced tab of the module in the CSS ID and classes, and then paste it there just like that. So since these have it already, as soon as I will add that to this right one here, probably will start to work. That's because I already have the code in here. So it won't do that for you until you add step three here. Add the code snippet. Now I do have instructions. I have explanation of what the code is doing. Basically, um, I'm, I'm adding a media query in here and it's saying display flex to the content. That content, ETPB blurb content, that is the entire um, blurb like the, the image, the title, and the body, okay, the content. So that we're saying first make that flex. Then the second one is the blurb container. Now that's the container of just the, the title text and body text. Now we're also making that flex. And then the last one is the ET blurb image. That is obviously the image. So we're doing the whole thing and then each one we're making those flex. And then we're doing some other things like justify content center display, you know, we're making it you know, flex column wise rather than row wise. Um, and then some other things like margin bottom on the image so that because by default, there's a margin and yeah, little things like that to adjust it and tweak it. Um, I do have the before and after there too. Um, so about this media query, I have it in there at 767 px because when you're in here and you're adjusting the, the image, placement, like right here, you probably, I mean, it, it depends. So I have it, I'm thinking like left on desktop and tablet. Okay. But then what I'm thinking is on phone, it will be on top. I think even maybe by default. Yeah, there we go. And I just, I'm saying that because depending on the type of image, it might not fit very well on a small phone. So you, you may or you may want to do that. Now, if you want, like this one here, if you want the image to also be on the left, you could adjust the image size by all means, right? Um, 
I'm doing the wrong, I'm doing the wrong one there. You could adjust that absolutely, right? Um, my point is, in general, I added this in here because you probably don't want to do this on phone. So you would simply delete that line and then this closing bracket. So in general, just copy this code. I have instructions where you can paste that. Maybe you're using Divi Assistant or a child theme or just in, in the theme options. And that will result in this kind of layout, right? Where you have the text vertically aligned with the image. So as you can see, this is a fun one, a really super useful one that I use all the time, and you probably will too. Um, if you like it, let me know. Give me a thumbs up, comment, and of course subscribe. We do tutorials like this every week. So it's exciting. Um, we'll see you all in the next video.